Kathleen is the Deputy Secretary of USDA. USDA is a huge entity, as you know. Um, she gave the 10,000 foot view. I want to come down a little bit to my level. Uh, we have an office here in Brattleboro. I'm the director that covers four counties for multiple programs. Um, every, jur every state has a, a USDA Rural Development Office. So, so we have eight different departments, I mean under the USDA div divisions, and then under those there's probably about 19 agencies, and then there's hundreds and hundreds of programs. So I know nothing about mad cow disease or regulatory items. Uh, USDA Rural Development uh, mission is to increase economic opportunity and improve the quality of life for rural Americans, and that's why we're under the Department of Ag. We focus on rural areas. Um, the way we meet our mission is we deliver finance uh, mechanisms to rural communities. And we do that three ways. We have loan guarantees where the bank comes to us and asks us to help out, sort of an insurance policy if you will. We have direct lending where you come to our offices and we can lend l money directly to uh, not-for-profits, municipalities and things like that. And then we have the all elusive grant programs. We deliver those three mechanisms through three agencies. Rural development actually is a mission area. We have a rural business and cooperative service. Again, we love cooperatives. Uh, we have a rural utility service and we have a rural housing service. So I brought some information that's over on the table there today about the Know Your Farmer, Know Your Food initiative. And then I also have a uh, all programs guide and that will outline all the different programs and how we can help out communities. Um, anywhere from one of your employees needing housing. We have home ownership programs. If you know of a fire, uh, volunteer fire department that's looking to have a fundraiser to get a piece of equipment, we have programs for that. And again, we, we work with lenders and cooperatives. Um, some examples of cooperatives that we've assisted locally, uh, Hunger Mountain in Montpelier, Onion River, Middlebury Natural Foods in Middlebury, the Brattleboro Food Co-op, the Putney Co-op, was a diff it wasn't under our business and cooperatives program, it was under our community facilities at the time, um, the Springfield Co-op, and then also there's going to be a new co-op uh, opening up over in the Keene area. The Monadnock Economic Development Corp actually came to our agency and got a loan guarantee so they could build out the building, and then this is going to be a lease from um, the Monadnock Community Market Co-op. So we get another one coming online fairly soon, which is exciting. So, so that's a little bit about the agency. I want to bring it down to here, but Mark had asked me to come and, and talk about how I see cooperatives benefiting communities. And my observation in the work that I do as a community developer, um, um, co-ops are champions in my mind. <coughs> um, and the co-ops are made up of farmers, producers, and individuals who are all champions. So, you know, especially you as individuals participating in your co-ops, you're the champions. You're the doers. I could bring all the resources in the world to a community, but unless I have someone or an entity that's going to engage our resources, nothing will happen with our money. You are champions that engage our resources and make things happen. And it's exciting. I've been really recharged this morning being with you all. So your ideas turn into actions and improve the life uh, of the citizens and the community that you participate in. I feel that uh, cooperatives are an important confluence for community and economic development. You bring together individuals, business, and democracy to benefit all that wish to be part of the cooperative. You create jobs, you retain jobs. You help small businesses and producers have markets. The consumers can get what they demand and have a sense of being part of a community. So, so in closing, um, I observe the community, co-ops are communities within the community, and that they are the seeds that provide change and economic development in our small rural towns. And thank you. <laughs>